that would be with user and uh, then we saw some examples uh, here we see uh, 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 a string variable the value is assigned to variable and here it is also a string but uh, it is uh, it doesn't have to have any uh, values here we use a <coughs> string empty property to assign a value and uh, we have a uh, digital uh, decimal place variable since we don't have any uh, suffixes like m or f uh, it means it, this is a double data type and uh, boolean data type it has a false or uh, true values and here we are assigning another variable to a variable here we are using a not equal sign we are greater than and less than greater than or equal to and uh, less than or equal to uh, these are some of the examples of how uh, these uh, relational operators can be uh, used okay so uh, then we saw the uh, branching example uh, branching uh, <coughs> means uh, decision making uh, in, a, in a real uh, programming environment requirement uh, if we will have situations where we have to make a decision the program has to make some uh, decision rather than running the uh, code uh, from the line one to the line n the last line the program will have to make some uh, judgments right so that's why we use uh, branching okay so branching is uh, you done by if statements which statement as well as a ternary operator it's like an if statement uh, if if function in excel right so and then uh, we uh, saw these uh, examples so simple if we have the the if clause is followed by <clears throat> followed by the uh, boolean expression and if it meets uh, or it, 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 if it evaluates through a true condition the code that follows will be executed and we can have uh, the if clause with or without uh, curly braces here you can see the uh, difference. Here we don't have any curly brace. Here we have uh, included this inside a curly brace. If you include a curly brace, more than one line can be governed by you. Uh, govern in a sense, uh, more than one line can be uh, controlled by this uh, if statement. If you do not have uh, these curly braces, only the next line, very next line that follows this if statement <coughs> uh, controlled by this uh, if clause. You have, want to have a uh, more than one statement uh, controlled by this if uh, more than one statements controlled by this if statement. You have to have them uh, inside the curly braces, right? So we saw uh, simple examples in the in the in the previous class. Uh, this example we saw, I think, and uh, similar examples uh, we saw for a simple if and uh, if else. Uh, this, which means uh, if uh, criteria meets uh, <clears throat> the expression to true, the code that is inside the uh, this curly brace will be executed. Otherwise, if it does not uh, meet the criteria, the uh, the code uh, in, in within this else clause will be executed. These uh, syntax uh, these uh, similar to the Java code that we already saw in the uh, first year. Right, uh, we saw some examples, and then we uh, also had a look at the, the uh, radio button. Right, mm -hmm. radio button we use uh, to make uh, <clears throat> to make uh, to the, let the uh, user to make uh, choices. Right, mm -hmm. so there are two uh, controls that uh, we use to make the uh, by the way, these uh. MIT 43 and MIT 70, please uh, mute your mics. MIT 43 and MIT 70, thank you. <clears throat> the uh, radio buttons are used to uh, make uh, selections. Uh, the uh, radio button as well as a uh, checkbox we can use. Uh, in the case of radio button, the, uh, the selection is uh, mutually exclusive, which means at a container level, you can make uh, one choice at a time. You can't have a male and female selected at the same time. Simultaneously, you can't have them both uh, selected. 
you can either select male or you can select uh, female right if you want to use uh, we will finish this first yeah we uh, the when when uh, this uh, button is uh, selected like this it is called uh, checked uh, and if it is not selected it is called uh, unchecked so we use if we want to capture the situation whether it is uh, selected or not this is how it works uh, radio button's name and dot uh, it is a it is a checked or unchecked we check for a checked status if it is checked uh, it works like this and if it is not checked it works like this right <clears throat> at the container level it is a uh, mutually exclusive we uh, saw that uh, in the previous class when we met last where in the form level it is a uh, uh, you can select only one uh, at a time. Let me open a file. Let me check if, it, if, if we have that uh, last file. Fine. So we uh, did this in the previous class. Uh, here you can see the uh, group box uh, is a container. Within the container, form is a big container, larger container. Within the form, we have a, a group box for uh, gender. <clears throat> it is a container. Also, we have another group box for uh, uh, degree type. It is also a container. So, which means at the container level, we can have uh, uh, more than one uh, option to be selected. Right? If you want to, if you add uh, more containers, you can have a uh, more customization. You can have a separate uh, group for a degree type as well as gender, right? So, uh, next control we would like to have uh, is a checkbox control. It is also similar to the uh, group box but the difference is uh, you can have more than one item selected at a time right you can have more than one item selected at a time you see here so we have subject names pc applications fundamental programming technology management uh, database management system rapid application development e-commerce these are the subjects i was teaching for mit students for a long period of time now i don't have this subject and i don't teach this subject and this subject Technology management means information technology for management these days. It is uh, titled differently. So these are the six subjects I was teaching earlier. Now, uh, since uh, we have new people coming to the system, we have uh, delegated some of the subjects. Fine. So if you want to <clears throat> have uh, more than one selection at a time, you can use uh, this uh, checkbox, right? We can see this checkbox in action in a... Uh, Word also we have uh, check boxes where we can have a check box. You see uh, here we have check box. Okay, here we have check box, right? And uh, do we have yes more than one selection at a time? You can uh, see this, right? So these are the uh, check boxes. Okay. So this can be a control W close. So the same checkboxes are here and uh, we can use uh, one uh, sample. So here it is testing whether it is checked or unchecked. If it is clicked, uh, it is selected. It means I'm checked. If it is not uh, selected, it is uh, reading as unchecked, right? So here we are using one event that is called uh, check change, right? This is one event of this uh, checkbox, like click event for a button. We have <coughs> check change event for a uh, default event for uh, checkboxes as well as a uh, radio button also, right? 
So this is the code. Uh, we have added one uh, checkbox and we are checking whether it is checked. If it is checked, uh, the, we are setting the text property. Right? So uh, shall we see this in uh, an example in, in Visual Studio? So let me uh, stop my video so that I have uh, more space. <clears throat> I'm right clicking on this uh, project and pointing to add uh, and then uh, new form, right? So we have form here, Windows form selected, C sharp items, uh, Windows form. And I'm going to have name this as the uh, checkbox. Oh, checkbox form. Okay. So uh, let me uh, make it smaller. So when you run this project, Uh, mute your mic. Uh, when you run this project, uh, the form that we already created is uh, is uh, showing up, uh, but we want the new form to be uh, displayed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to double click on this program.cs file, right? And then I'm going to its uh, application.run uh, method. And here, instead of uh, radio button, I'm going to make it as Checkbox form, right? Checkbox form. Give me a second. Excuse me, uh, because I, I had a call. Fine. So uh, we will add this uh, checkbox uh, like these uh, only a checkbox we have. Okay, fine. So I'm going to this common control property, uh, properties uh, toolbox, and then uh, here we have checkbox. If you don't find a control, what you can do is you can type C A T. So you will get all the uh, uh, controls that are starting uh, C A T starting with CH here. So uh, let me uh, make this a little uh, smaller. And uh, I'm going to make the test uh, checkbox. Uh, sample. Sample. And uh, I'm getting out of these uh, you can see my uh, screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And minimize box also. I'm getting out these uh, two. And I'm clicking on this checkbox. And uh, let me give a name uh, <clears throat> sample checkbox. Okay. Sample checkbox. And uh, I'm going to give a text for these. Uh, Select me. Okay. Uh, let's run this. Here is the checkbox. If you click, nothing happens. Okay. So uh, we will have this. I'm unchecked. And run this. I'm clicking, nothing happens. Okay. So now I'm going to its design view and I'm double clicking on this checkbox, not on form. I'm double clicking on this checkbox. Huh? So here we have a uh, checkbox is a uh, check change event. Okay, check change event. I'm going back and I'm going to display the properties window in the method. You see, check change is uh, created. <coughs> We have not created a click method. We have created check change method. Huh? So here I'm going to type if. Press tab key twice and type sample checkbox dot checked. If it is checked, 
equal true. This is the complete code. Uh, we can uh, ignore this. This will also work, right? If it is checked, I'm going to set its uh, text property to I checked. Okay. Else, if it is not checked, else sample text uh, checkbox dot text equal I am not checked. Save the code and run the project. You see, here, if it is selected, it reads as I am checked. If it is unselected, it is reading as I am not checked. Okay. So that's how it works. So I uh, added uh, the checkbox, I set its uh, text property, and then uh, I double click on this uh, checkbox to reach it, its. Uh, and check change uh, method and then I edit the code. If you miss mistakenly, if you double click on the form, <clears throat> if you double click on the form, don't do anything, right? Don't do anything, just leave it. If you delete this, if you delete this and try to run the project, you will get error, okay? So, see. Error list. No. Right. Just don't click on this. Okay. Don't do anything with this. Just you can uh, minimize it and keep it somewhere. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> any doubts? Fine. So let's move to the uh, next slide. Here we have uh, one example. Okay. Here we have one example where this was the last time. Uh, this was not last time, two years back. MIT31043 means rapid application development. Now it's been named as visual programming. Right. Okay. So here we have a form with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six checkboxes. And uh, this is a label, okay? This is a label and uh, a button. So the functionality of this application is uh, if you make some selections and click on this show selection uh, button, it displays uh, this uh, content in the uh, label, okay? Fine, label. So if you remove any of this, automatically it is updated once you click on this, okay? So, uh, let me create this program and uh, show you this uh, in action so that you can uh, understand more. Right. So here I'm going to see this solution explorer. Right click on this uh, project, point to add form. Yeah, I'm going to call this as uh, course selection checkbox okay checkbox for selection because i want to keep it here so that uh, they stay together okay and uh, tools uh, box toolbox and here also i'm going to update checkbox control space bar for selection press enter key Control space S to save the work. Close this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, checkboxes. Drag and drop or double click. Or even you can select, copy and paste. Okay. Here it goes. Select them all. A line to left. Here we have uh, make vertical spacing equal. Fine. Anything for increasing vertical space? Same height? No. No. Add door remove buttons. 
increase the uh, vertical space okay so if you don't uh, see these buttons what you can do is you can point to these uh, arrow and uh, point to these add or remove buttons and then uh, you can see whether these buttons are available if it is unchecked this button is not available it means okay Then we have a label and a button. We have a button and we have a label. Okay. Fine. First one, uh, PC application, fundamental programming, technology management. So checkbox, I'm going to properties window. Next is the uh, first one is uh, PC application. PC applications. Then fundamentals of fundamentals of programming. Then uh, technology management, right? Yeah. Technology management. DBMS, database management system. DBMS. RAD and e-commerce, repeat application development, and then electronic commerce. Fine. So uh, <clears throat> let's give uh, these uh, checkboxes more meaningful names. Okay. The first one, PC application checkbox. Okay. PC applications checkbox. I'm going to copy this checkbox text. Next one is fundamental program. FP checkbox. Then technology management. Technology management checkbox. Then DBMS checkbox. DBMS checkbox. Then RAD checkbox. Repeat application development. Then we have e-commerce. Uh, checkbox great okay now we will uh, give a caption checkbox okay course selection we will uh, give it this course selection minimize no maximize no button here we have a uh, Here we have a show selection uh, button. So we will name it as the show selection. So you see, I have typed a show selection, but it is showing only show. So the width is not enough. I'm making it a little bigger. Okay. And here I'm going to give a name show button. Fine. And then label label what we can do is uh, we can give a label a name results label uh, results label because we are going to use this label i'm going to make its auto size property to false auto size property here we have it is false so that the width and uh, height can be adjusted And uh, we will give a sample text. You have studied the following, okay? You have studied the following. Okay. Come on. I'm still uh, keeping it selected. I'm going back to its uh, <coughs> back color property. Make it as... Uh, black and uh, we are unable to distinguish its text so four color property to green or yellow okay yeah okay yellow and font let's make it as console as bold 14 
big. Let's make this 12. Come on, baby. Fine. So uh, save the work. Still again, save the work and run this. Nothing happens. Okay. So let's uh, go to the code. You can uh, clearly uh, listen my voice, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Screen also visible, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good news. Right. I'm double clicking on this show selection button to access its uh, code window. Now, what I have to do is, uh, because whenever the user selects this, we have to keep this in the memory, okay? Whenever, if I click on PC application, automatically there must be something, uh, there must be a variable where PC application is stored, okay? So I'm going to declare a variable, string variable, choices, choices, okay? Choices. And uh, I'm initiating it, choices equal, you have studied the following. Save, okay? Choices equal you have studied the following. <clears throat> First, I want to check whether PC applications, PC application checkbox is selected. Okay, I'm double clicking on this button again here. If, if PC application checkbox is checked, if it is selected, okay, if it is selected, I have to append, it's called uh, join. I have to join a text with this, okay? Choice, choices equal choices plus PC applications. Right, PC applications. Now, after this, uh, if close, okay, let's pull here. Results label dot text equal choices. This is string variable. This is string value. This is a string variable. So there won't be any issues. This is the string variable. Correction. Click this. Nothing. Click this. Here you see. It is added. It is added. So it is added on the same line. It is added on the same line. But we have to have them on the next line. Here you see on the next line. So for this, we are going to use an escape sequence. Okay, an escape sequence, I will show you. Here we have <coughs> slash n, okay? Slash n, it means new line, new line. Slash n means new line. Let's run this. Here you see, it is on the next line. You might uh, wonder whether it is on the next line, next line, or the text is wrapped. See here, it's the next line. So let me revert back to the previous size. Fine. Again, if you see this, there is an indentation. Okay, some spaces are given. Some space is given. So I'm going to do space, give space, rather than I would like to add a T to add a tab space and see if it works. Updates. Again, a T. No. Okay, 
is not working. So what I can do is I can get out of this backspace. I'm pressing tab key on the keyboard. Okay, once and twice. Save. Go back here. So it is indented, right? <clears throat> so uh, I have to do this for the uh, other checkboxes as well. So what I can do is, again, I will check if the next one is a FP checkbox, fundamental programming, not FB subras, and there is Facebook. Okay. Fundamental programming checkbox. Here, FP checkbox dot checked. If it is checked, what I have to do again, by the way, rather than repeating it again, what we can do is we can use shorthand assignment operator. So it's going to be plus equal. Okay. So here I'm going to have choices plus equal new line tap twice twice fundamentals fundamentals of programming okay fundamentals of programming i'm going to run this pc application fundamentals of programming social action only PC applications is showing. Why the results label is not added here? Okay, fine. Results label dot text equal. Choices. Save F5. Both I am selecting. Show this. It's giving you some trouble. Okay. Let me uh, increase the size. A little okay. PC applications, funnels programming. Fine, it is added. one tab space so rather than repeating this label uh, results table just again and again i'm getting this out and outside this if close i'm placing okay so no need to repeat it again and again in each if clauses <clears throat> here we have show it's okay here we have show it's okay PC applications removed, only this one, okay? PC application edit, edit. Fundamentals removed, removed. That's fine. So I'm going to do the same for others. Technology management. If technology management dot checked, choices plus equal new line. Technology, technology. Okay. Again for uh, DBMS. If DBMS check choices is equal new line. DBMS. RAD and e commerce. So let me copy this. If RAD checked, rapid application. Again, I'm pasting e commerce.
Symphonic. So I have created uh, the if clause for all these selections. Now I'm going to save the work, run the project. Let's uh, make it a little smaller. Okay. So if you select this, select it. all of them, all of them are there. If you remove one of them, remove them. If you remove DBMs, remove them. If you remove e-commerce, remove. Add already, add it. Add DBMs, add it. E-commerce, add it. This is how it works. Any any questions? Any question, please ask. No, sir. Fine. Shall we copy this to uh, our code sharing site? Okay, sir. Yeah. Please don't cut this, uh, just uh, copy it. Huh? The code already is there. And uh, next is uh, the logical operators. It, uh, it combines uh, uh, more than one uh, expression. We use an uh, end operator. So if it is an end operator, the uh, both expressions must be evaluating to true for, uh, for the expression to become true, right? So uh, the first expression and the second expression uh, both of them have to be uh, true if the if close is to run. The next one is uh, or that is uh, the pipe character, the pipe character, bar character or pipe character. So which means if either one of the condition is true, the code within this uh, if close will be executed. The next one is not negates if it means uh, it's the reverse of this, right? If it is a uh, if it is true, the not means if it is not true, right? That's how it works. So example here, temperature must be less than uh, twenty and minutes must be greater than twelve. So if both these criteria meets to true, then only this message box will be displayed. Otherwise, this message box will not be displayed. In this case. If uh, either temperature is less than 20 or the temperature greater than 100, in either cases, the message box will be displayed. The last one is not negation. Temperature greater than 100. And it is saying negative this, opposite of that, which means temperature equal to or less than 100. This may, the meaning of this is Temperature is equal to or less than 100. That's the meaning. If it is so, this message box will be displayed. Right. And uh, here we have uh, a, another example. It does not uh, use uh, these uh, relational operator, logical operators, but uh, we can use it, right? We can use it. Please give me uh, two minutes. Huh?
okay so uh, let's uh, do this example and uh, see how we can uh, use this uh, logical operator with this okay so let me first design this uh, form program and then it is code after that we will see how we can use this logical operator screen is visible right yes sir so let me close this we'll go into solution explorer right click and uh, what is this uh, math processor Mars. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Toolbox. Text boxes one, two, three, four, five. Mass one, two, three, average. So here it is uh, written as max one two. We will make it differently. So science, maths, and English like that. We will say science, S C I E N C science. And uh, English. Here we have average and grade. Average. I know great. You can see a science text box, a C I E N C E text box. Copy this. Maths. English. Text box. Average text box. And grade text box. We need a button. Calc. It means calculate. Okay. Calculate button. Max processor with space. Minimize box. Maximize box. View tab order one, two, three. Okay, save view tab order remote tab stop. No tab stop. No run this previous form builds. I'm going to solution explorer program.cs. processor control s to save the work now let's run this okay, fine. now the program is going to have one two three three uh, marks input and average one and uh, grade that is one so uh, there are five variables going to be used we are going to get the marks and then we are going to find the average. After that, if the student gets uh, more than greater than or equal to 75, we are going to say distinction grade. If it is greater than uh, 65 or equal to 65, merit. If it is greater than or equal to 50, it is pass. And uh, if it otherwise, it is fail. Otherwise, it is fail. It is a fail grade. Okay. 
So we are going to display the uh, average as well as uh, the grade. So first we will see how we can get the input. Before that, we will uh, declare some variables. Okay. So double click on this before that. Uh, So here I'm going to declare the variables uh, double. It is float, no, 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 it's double science. That's English average plus string grade. Okay, SCI science equal science text box dot text and uh, it is going to come from double dot pass okay. Mets same case double dot pass Mets uh, MIT just Mets uh, text box dot text English same case double dot pass english text box this now we have taken the three uh, inputs now we want to find the average average equal science plus maths plus english divided by three So uh, we have uh, found the average, right? We can display the average here. Let's see. Average text box dot text equals average to string number two, two digits. Let's display this. 88, 55, and 99. Average is there. We have to find the uh, grade. Okay. So grade uh, first one. Grade is equal to seventy five. Distinction. If average greater than or equal to seventy five, then grade equal to Distinction, distinction. Okay. So here, else if sixty-five, average greater than or equal to sixty-five, grade equal to merit. Else if average greater than or equal to 50, grade equal to pass. Otherwise, which means else, grade equal to this guy has failed. Okay. Now we want to show this in the uh, great text box. Great text box. Text. Text equal. Great. Save the work. Science 60. Maths 50. English 90. See? Merit. Greater than or equal to 65, merit. Let's make it as 90. More than 75, distinction. This guy is a poor fellow. Let's make it. Pass. And fail. Right? Now, we will see how we can implement this uh, logical operator, right? 
First, we are going to get these uh, science marks. Okay, we are not going to see validation now. Huh? We are not going to see validation. I'll, I'll show you one. First, we have to check. First, let us check uh, if uh, science, science greater than or equal to zero and science less than or equal to 100. Then if maths greater than or equal to zero and that's less than or equal to 100 again if english greater than or equal to zero and english less than or equal to 100, then only we are going to find the average. Okay, then only we are going to find the average because uh, otherwise it has to display a message. It has to display a message. The range is outside. Okay, for this if I have an else clause. Message inbox, right? Inbox. Please enter a valid marks. Yeah. Error. you see and, uh, we have the same box icon okay. this is for this person okay for this if we have an else clause. And for this if we have an else clause. Okay. Here is showing red baby line is unsigned. So for the time being, average equal. And this ten fifty fifty five hundred and ten. See, it is showing enter a valid marks. So, what we can do is for first one, let's text box dot focus. So it goes to the maths text box. Okay. <clears throat> Oops, first one is science, right? CI. 
so let's call it uh, 110 10 50 so please enter the valid marks it goes back here right valid science valid So I'm checking each condition, like it's a nested diff. I'm checking each condition. First, it checks whether science marks is within the range. Okay, so both conditions should be met. Science marks has to be greater than or equal to zero, and it has to be less than and equal to 100. The range is zero to 100. Okay. If it is yes, okay, then it checks METS marks. Same, it has to be within zero and hundred range. Okay, science is okay, maths is okay. Then it checks for English marks. Okay, English. If it is within the range, then only the average is calculated. Right, then only the average is calculated. Okay. Otherwise, each message box is displayed. This is how it works. Okay, it's a simple example. We have to work more on on uh, data validation. We will learn data validation. At that time, we will see how this works. Any doubts? Any doubts? No, sir. Yeah, others uh, may be uh, difficult to pick up for some of you. So I will upload the video. Please uh, learn from that video, okay? So this is including uh, both uh, this logical operator as well as nested if, okay? So no doubt here. So let's uh, stop sharing. And come back to my video. So, any uh, questions? Please ask. Any questions? Please ask. Sir, can we clear the uh, textbooks after showing error message? Yeah. Let me uh, share the screen. Go back to these. Uh, which one, which one, which one, sure. First one, no. mm, this is a science, science, right? Science text box dot uh, clear. Science uh, text box. Text box. Focus. Is uh, Mets, okay? Mets textbooks. I'm thinking of giving a color also. Sir, first one is English textbooks, right, sir? Hmm? This is English, no? Yes, sir. <clears throat> no, I was thinking of uh, giving a back color. So we will uh, learn how to give back color in data validation. Because when uh, there's uh, an error, we can uh, change the color of the text box to red color. And then uh, once it is cleared, we can uh, make the color back to the control color. So uh, we will learn that. We will learn that while we uh, learn uh, data validation. We will learn that. Science, uh, maths, and English. So English, maths, and science. Okay. 
Okay, let's make this a file. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Any any other questions? Any doubts? Please ask. Okay, if you don't have any doubt, uh, we will uh, wind up this class. Okay, wind up this class and we will meet uh, next week. Next week, we will have some extra classes too. Right? So, uh, what about the evening time, afternoon? Is it okay for you all or? Uh, 